When the University of Arizona was established as a land-grant institute in 1891, botanist Dr. James Toomey recognized the value of embracing and learning about the unique vegetation growing in the Sonoran Desert. To provide an immersive experience for campus residents, he began a demonstration garden and filled it with more than 600 species of desert plants. The garden grew and was relocated to another campus location. Today, the remaining garden is named after the famed author and naturalist Joseph Wood Crutch. The Crutch Garden is now located in the middle of the UA Mall. The garden offers a quiet oasis on campus where lizards and rabbits scurry about, bees buzz, and many desert plants bloom with the seasons. Much has changed in the 120 years since the creation of the university and its cactus garden, but the vision to create immersive educational opportunities within our campus landscapes and to celebrate our place in the Sonoran Desert link us over time. Engelmann's prickly pear, or Opuntia engelmannii, is a familiar sight to residents of the Southwest. Visitors to any gift shop are sure to find prickly pear delights, such as jelly, candy, or a sweet beverage that will likely be carried home as a delicious desert souvenir. But prickly pear is no ordinary cactus. Late April in the Sonoran Desert brings blooms, warm and soft, as the prickly pears unfurl their rose-like petals. Ranging in color from yellow, orange, pink, or even cream, these lovely flowers dress up the dull, green, oval-shaped pads. Overhead, the bright sun glints off white or yellow spines ringed by brown glockids, which serve as a deterrent to hungry, would-be diners. But the meal isn't ready yet. First, pollinators such as hummingbirds, bees, and other small insects must do their part as they dance from bloom to bloom, nearly swimming in all the pollen. It won't be too long before moody monsoon clouds begin building over the mountains in the heat of June, threatening to bring much needed rains to the thirsty desert. This seasonal moisture encourages prickly pear fruits, called tunas, to form and ripen into a beautiful magenta color in late summer. These juicy fruits taste like watermelon and are an important food source for both two- and four-legged desert dwellers. Those willing to brave the prickles, perhaps with a pair of metal tongs, will be rewarded with a sweet treat that can be made into preserves, wine, or syrup. The flowers, fruits, and pads, called nopales, are all edible. Large quantities of magnesium and potassium can help the body metabolize fats, carbohydrates, and protein, as well as regulate heart rate. High levels of calcium support strong bones, while the high fiber and low calories can assist with managing body weight. On the main University of Arizona campus in Tucson, Arizona, Engelmann's prickly pear grows alongside hundreds of tree and shrub species from arid climates around the world. These plants populating most of the 400-acre campus have been collected over the last 125 years. They are a historical part of the university's land-grant commitment of ongoing research and educational missions. Nestled in the heart of campus, the Joseph Wood Crutch Garden is a symbol of the university's responsibility as a land-grant institute and a model of science-based practices for arid landscapes worldwide. The Campus Arboretum provides tours intended to help you learn the identities of many trees and plants which grow on campus. You can find more information about all the UA Campus Arboretum tours and resources at our website by following the link provided. We hope you enjoy the beauty, history, and usefulness of our Arboretum plants and trees as much as we do. Thank you for watching. Please tune in next time to learn about more amazing desert plants.